we move on to swash. Now one of the things I want to do, I want to take these servos, I want these numbers to read zero because I want to get a true level on my swash. So now I have this servos one, two, and three all at zero. My pitch, I am going to put back down. Actually, I tell you what, leave me put leave that at 30 and then the cyclic and then I'll adjust those accordingly to get what I want. Okay, so now give me one second. Let me get the unit powered back up here and I will be right back. Okay, so at this point I have everything powered on. Uh, you'll hear I have the beep going from the ESC, basically just reminding me that it's on. Now in this mode, you can see the servos, there's kind of like a dead zone here in the middle, and that's to help me get my zero set. So I put that in the middle, and then what I'm going to do is come back here, I'm going to put all these horns on, and secure in place, so they are at 90 degrees to the servo. That'll be my first part. And then once I do that, then I can check to make sure my swash is level and then I'll adjust my arms here. Now, unfortunately on this heli, it's a 15 millimeter main shaft. I don't have a swash leveler, so I'm going to have to do a little bit by eye, maybe take a couple measurements and get it figured out and, and go that way, kind of the old school way. But uh, we are going to get that sorted out. So right now I am just going to Fasten these on so they're all at 90, get the hardware in, get everything hooked. That all I need to do is readjust this and see how close we are and I will be right back. All right, so we're set up here. I have the horns on, fastened on. I didn't do any leveling yet because um, one of the next steps, if you look, when I'm trying to get throttle, you can see the swash plate is not exactly doing what it's supposed to do. So one of the things you're gonna do then is you push full stick on the controller. So I'm gonna give full stick. And now the servos, I want to do all the same thing, but at full pitch, I want this thing to be pitched in order, basically, down. So I want that to be, to be pulling that down. The whole swash should be going down where one's going up. So I need all servos to come down. <coughs> so I come over here to the servo reverse, and I keep hitting this. Now they're all up. Hit it again, again. Now they're all down. So now you can look, you can see I'm moving in the right direction. If you're ever not sure, you can always like, you can take a blade and you can sort of mock up here. So if you set the blade here, we're at zero pitch and you go full and then negative actually, I got something a little bit messed up here. I might've did it backwards actually trying to do it on camera. So, Yep, I actually am backwards. So, we come back in here again. We want these up. There we go. Okay, there we go. So now, when you put this in, go to pitch. Negative, so as we're spinning, you can see we'd be spinning, you'd be pushing down. When I go to full, you're spinning. You're actually creating lift, so. Hopefully that makes a little sense that way. As I was trying to talk through it, I actually did it backwards myself. But now you can see the swash plate is not level at all. So we're gonna bring this guy down to get to where it needs to be level. So that basically just entails, first you want these servos to be exactly at 90 degrees. <coughs> so we're gonna pick the servo. Let's see which one am I changing here. So servo one here. Oh, is that one? I'm going the wrong way here with it. That's why I didn't realize it. Bring this back down to zero. We're gonna drop this one one spline down. And then two is my elevator servo. It might be hard for you guys to see in here. 
but that's the one right back in there it's kind of hard to see but we want that one to be right at 90 which it is right there and then servo three we are pretty much at 90 looking pretty good right there so this is the only one that i want to change i'm going to pull this we're going to drop this one one tooth and see if that'll make it a little bit better sometimes you'll get these where they're off just that little bit i don't like to make too much electronic changes if i don't have to I like to keep everything as mechanical set as I can. So then we're gonna come back here to one and take that up. Now we look good. Okay, so there we're set. So I'm gonna just do the same now with the tail. And as you can see here now, if you look, swash plate's a little crooked. Might be hard to see, but we are leaning a little bit there actually number one we can bring it down a tick as well and we're looking we look pretty good that way so i'm gonna go in i'm gonna do the same with the tail we'll get that set up and then i'm gonna adjust these rods so i have everything level and i'll show you what we got all right everything's leveled off i had to eyeball this i since i don't have a actual swash leveler but we got everything looking good. So we have my swash level. I got that done. I gotta get zero set. We'll, we'll do that then next. Um, but that'll just be adjusting these arms to get me set to zero. Right now we're gonna move on with the tail. So the tail is set up, but basically we wanna see, we want throw to be set. So I have to adjust the tail a little bit to, to set so it's a zero. So let me set that. So I'll set the zero on that yet. So it's just all fine tuning at this point when you're adjusting everything. So basically I gotta adjust this linkage here so I can get these to set to where I want that at neutral point. And then I will set my zero on my main blades as well. And I'll come back and show you where we're at.